What's up everyone? Welcome to the sixth and final 2018 Bowman Mega Box box break. Uh, if you guys did not watch the fifth box break, I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, if you want to skip through all the boring stuff, just uh, get to the part where I start opening up the uh, Chrome Packs. That's around the eight minute mark. So, or do me a favor and just watch the entire video and uh, zone out until, like I said, the eight minute mark. I won't tell you what happened, but I was pretty happy. All right. So I think the battery might die on the camera. So we'll go through the boring stuff pretty fast of the, uh, the regular packs. So we got Jonathan Scope and I had an, uh, a theory in the last video. Every time I pull Scope, George Springer's in the pack. So let's see if Springer is in here. Boom, George Springer. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny. So uh, the other thing I was saying is that, who is it? Anthony Rizzo and Joey Votto are always in the same packs together. So that's super weird. Uh, do better tops. You shouldn't make it that easy to predict who you're going to get in your packs. So, and Noah Syndergaard. So I'm pretty sure that it's those three back to back to back. It's, this is pretty ridiculous. Uh, I wish somebody else could get the license for MLB and make trading cards with the actual, uh, logos on them. But I guess if you don't have any in a competition, you can do whatever you want. But anyway, no more Mazzara, and my camera's falling down, so let me try to fix that. All right, first Chrome in the uh, out of this pack is Spencer Howard. Now we have Wander Javier. I've probably opened up like 30 packs of Bowmans, and this is the first time I've pulled this dude. So it's kind of weird. Uh, Andres Jimenez is the second Chrome card. Uh, this dude is becoming infamous for his absolutely horrible signature. Uh, Google image it and it pretty much just looks like a bird dipped its foot in ink and stamped the card. The, it, it looks like a bird's footprint. His autograph is horrible and uh, I apologize to anybody that's pulled his autograph and I've probably jinxed myself and will pull his autograph but that'll be nice because then I can show you that it looks like a bird walked all over my card. All right, next we have uh, Luis Robert, Cuban defector, uh, signed by the White Sox. I believe he's one of the variants as well, but that's the regular card. And we have Will Craig. So now I thought these uh, opening up the regular packs were going to be kind of boring, but it would be kind of fun to see if my theories about the packs are right, where you get the same three players back to back to back. So we have Carlos Correa. I can't remember who else is normally in his pack, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll see. Joey Votto. So, okay, cool. Uh, Joey Votto, that means that this has to be Anthony Rizzo and then most likely Paul Goldschmidt. So let's see if it happens. Boom, Anthony Rizzo. You are horrible tops. And come on, Paul Goldschmidt. Boom. <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous, man. All right, uh, how about an Otani in there to break up the monotony? No, Ozzy Albies, I'll take it. He's not bad. Uh, Colby Allard, first one uh, I've gotten of him in a while. Will Smith, has a pretty decent autograph, uh, super nice guy. Finished up everything for me and the kiddos in spring training. Uh, so that's the Chrome card. Then we have Luis Robert on the Chrome card. Glaber Torres of the Yankees, super prospect, and Justin Dunn. So I really hope, <laughs> so in the beginning of the video, I told you guys to fast forward through all the boring stuff. Please don't fast forward through all this. Uh, you're, I, I think you're actually finding out some good information if you guys haven't already noticed about how the packs are seated, so are the, uh, the cards are seated. So it kind of makes you wonder if Topps is holding on to that Otani Atomic Refractor uh, just to try and get people to continue buying their mediocre products. So, who knows? 
So now we have Harrison Bader. Uh, let's think of a name who it could be behind him. Probably somebody from the Phillies or something. I don't know. No, Chance Cisco. Oreo. Should have known that. Now we have Luis Gohora. Miguel Andahar. Albert Pujols. Junior Fernandez is the first Chrome. I don't believe I pulled any of his cards yet either. Now we have James Nelson. See, when they add people in here that I've opened up 30 packs of and only get once, you know, they, people like that instead of pulling Paul Goldschmidt, Anthony Rizzo, and Noah Syndergaard every other pack. Will Craig is the second Chrome card. Now we have Daniel Johnson. Nothing against Daniel Johnson, but I am sick and tired of pulling his cards. That's like the seventh or eighth card I've pulled. And, of course, I think this... Uh, my camera's getting ready to die. And this has probably been a pretty decent video, too. Anyway, we'll go through them pretty fast, and I'll quit my complaining. So we have Andrew Benintendi, Nick Castellanos, Michael Conforto, Will Myers, Chris Archer, Chrome of Pedro Avila, DJ Stewart regular, Chrome of Glaber Torres, Shud Long regular, and TJ Zuch uh, regular. Uh, so keep an eye out. Shed Long is normally followed by TJ Zuch. All right, last regular pack. And then we'll get to the two exclusive Chrome packs. All right, we got Nikki Delmonico, former Oreo, Francisco Lindor, Yoan Mancada, Willie Calhoun, Lucas Sims, Ryan Velade, not a Chrome cards, Justin Dunn, Dunn, Justin Dunn, sorry, and another Daniel Johnson. I have every version of this dude's card, including an autograph. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. and Ibandel Isabel. All right, so the exclusive Chrome packs. Come on, Otani or autograph. So we have Carter Kiboom, Pedro Avila, Dominic Smith, Rookie of the Year favorite, Justice Sheffield, and D.L. Hall. So no serial number, no autograph cards. Maybe I get something cool. And let's see. All right, McKenzie Mills. Sam Hilli Hilliard. Bowman trending of Michael Chavez, who got suspended for something. But anyway, he's suspended, so he's not playing. Hurt, hurt his prospect status. He denied it on Twitter. Uh, Ryan Velade and Hunter Green. It is not autographed, unfortunately. So uh, that was the box. The special cards, you know, not, not bad. Hunter Green is probably the highlight out of that. But it was pretty funny to be able to just show how horrible the player insertion is with these. So kind of makes you wonder if you're pulling the same three cards in a row and you can predict it off the first card. Tops knows what they're doing with the Otanis. And yeah, they haven't released it yet. And they're not going to until they milk this product for everything that it's worth. So thanks for viewing. I uh, hope you guys found something out or learned something. So please comment on the videos. Uh, let me know if you like them. Thumbs up, all that type of stuff. So thanks. Have a good night.